Alrighty guys, welcome back to my new series where I teach you guys Python. This is currently part 2 of that series and well, what was part 1? Part 1, I did teach you guys about print statements. That said, today I'm going to be teaching you guys about variables. So without any further ado, let me go to my gameplay screen. And guys, I'm not going to be teaching you guys the most advanced level stuff because I'm not that big of, I'm not that advanced in Python. That said, variables is pretty beginner level stuff. So what is a variable? A variable is actually like a container and the variable acts as if it was the value that it contains. Okay, that sounds a little tricky. I mean, it honestly sounds pretty easy. That said, let's take an example. Let's say, for example, I have a variable of age. I set that equal to, I don't know, maybe something like 33. And then I could go ahead and add a print statement and print my age variable. So the second statement or the second commentary that says variable acts as if it was the value that it contains basically means my age variable right here is going to be 33. So if I were to run the command, it's going to print 33 on my console. That said, what if I had a string as well? Because like, let's go with something like a variable of name which equals to a pair of double quotes. I'll go with Sarah. Now if I type name here, okay, it would print Sarah because my name variable is set to the string Sarah. So if I run the code, it's going to print Sarah. What if I had Boolean values? So I could go with something like is underscore hungry. I'll set that equal to true. Well, because I am hungry and guys, I'm used to C++. That's why I added a semicolon. That's it. We don't need to add a semicolon. I'll go with is underscore hungry variable here. So if I run the command, my is underscore hungry variable is going to be set to true because it is initially set to here. Lastly, what if I went with something like score, a floating point number. If my score is set to something like 20.5, I don't know. Okay, and then in my print statement, I go ahead and da -da -da, print my score variable. If I were to run the command, it's going to say my score is 20.5. You guys get the basic gist of variables. That said, what if I wanted to use my variable in a text or like in a, what you call it, in a regular print statement? I could do something like this. Firstly, let me go ahead and create a variable called name. I'll set that equal to a string of something like live universe. Next up, let me go ahead and add a print statement, a pair of parentheses. Okay, next up, let's say, since I want to add my variable inside of my print statement, I'll go with an F string. So just go with F and then a pair of double quotes and now let's type something i'll go with something like my name is a pair of curly braces my name variable that is basically going to be viv universe here so my name is viv universe and i am honestly let me go with the age variable as well also that equal to something like 17 because i am 17 okay and i am another pair of curly braces age years old years old exclamation Okay, if I were to run the command, it's going to say my name is the universe and I am 17 years old. Alright, perfect. And if you guys remember the tutorial video from the print statements, instead of going with and, I could also just go with a forward slash new line. Actually, there we go, a backward slash new line. And now if I uh, run the command, it's going to say my name is Viv, my name is Viv universe and I'm 17 years old. I'll just remove the space and run the command again. There we go, that looks much better. So basically, this is what, uh, what you call it, print statements or like variables are all about. I could like go with like if slash else, if slash else clause as well. For example, if I had something like my age is 17, I didn't teach you guys about if statements yet, but I could like just use it here real quick. So if my age is greater than or equal to 17, okay, I'll go with a colon. I want to print something. I'll print something like, I don't know, minor. Okay, let's go with else, ta -ta -ta, I'll add an else clause, I'll print adult. Okay, and guys, you guys don't need to actually understand if slash else statements right now. I'll make a separate video on that. That's I, ju I just wanted to show you guys a quick little, um, what's what an example on what uh, variables can do. So if I run this command, since my age is set to 17, it is going to print minor. If I run the command, it says minor. What if it was set to something like 18? It's going to say minor as well. That's because I have to set this to be less than. There we go. If my age is either less than or equal to 17, then it's a minor. Else, it prints adult. If I went with something like 5 and I run the command, it says minor. Okay, perfect. Let me change that to 17. 
So that's basically what if statements are for. You could do the same thing for Boolean variables as well. I'll go with something like is underscore hungry Boolean variable. I'll set that equal to true because I am kind of hungry. And then I could add an if statement. If is underscore hungry, this by default is set to true. I mean, it is currently set to true here. So if is hungry is set to true, I'll say something like go eat exclamation. Else don't eat. I'll say something like don't eat exclamation. Okay, now if I run the command, since my is hungry is set to true, it's going to say go eat. If I set this to be false and I run the command, it's going to say don't eat. So yeah, basically that's what um, variables are. And let me go to my main camera. And guys, that's basically it for this tutorial as well. That said, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial or found it helpful, make sure to like, share, subscribe, like you have to my algorithm, sharing makes me smile, and subscribing is like it, sharing your top. And guys, soon I will be start multi-streaming on Twitch, Kick, YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram as well. So if you guys aren't following me there and you guys enjoy my content, make sure to follow me there. The link will be in the description and in the Honestly, just in the description and also join the Discord server. Link will be in the description as well. And guys, I'm not that good with making tutorials yet. That said, I will start improving later in the future and make much better tutorials. Maybe have a new Python series as well. That said, I'll catch you guys in the next live stream or video. Peace.